Botox uh, uh, is a uh, basically botulism toxin, which which they have purified, so it's uh, you know okay for human use, and and uh, they're using it to paralyze uh, the motor end plate. Uh, so someone who has spasticity, for example, from a stroke or a spinal cord injury, uh, where their muscles are just extremely tight. Uh, you can use Botox in injecting uh, the motor end plate into that muscle or the muscle fibers themselves. And you can relax that muscle. So it's, it's certainly good for that. Uh, somebody who has uh, what we call torticollis, which is uh, a neck spasm, uh, you know, where they're stuck in this position. Uh, you can inject Botox uh, into those tight muscles and relax the muscles. Uh, people that have just some terrible spasms that are not getting better uh, through the use of physical therapy, massage, acupuncture, or some of the other techniques we use like trigger points. Um, when I have a, a last resort situation, I can always uh, you know, refer to Botox. Uh, we use that very often uh, as a last resort. It is you know, quite an expensive product and we try to uh, do the things that are most conservative, um, you know, and less expensive first. Uh, so Botox can be helpful in, in a chronic uh, spasm situation. And there have been some uh, studies that have been done where they've used Botox in people that have chronic nerve pain. Uh, they've shown that if you inject the Botox in a grid fashion over the vicinity of the nerve, that the nerve itself actually can capture the Botox toxin and uh, cause a circulation inside of the nerve to go up to the spinal cord area and actually decrease what we call some of the central sensitization that can occur after these uh, chronic nerve conditions. So, you know, Botox you know, it has a number of different uses that we use uh, for pain management. Uh, it's also uh, used uh, for cosmetic purposes. Uh, people are, you know, singers might be using it you know, for vocal cords or you know, or people that have uh, spastic sphincters in different parts of the body, like for their bladder, uh, urologists are using Botox and things like that.